Hey guys, in the ancient site of tiger caves, there are several strange marks found on rocks. This site is perfect for studying ancient technology. So let's go take a look and see what we can find. Here you can see a strange rock which is standing at an angle. Let's go take a look at what it is. Is it a natural rock or was some kind of work done on this? The rock is tilted about 30 degrees and is very tall, about 35 feet. Upon closer inspection, you can see some weird shapes and abstract carving like cuts on it. Is it possible that ancient builders were working on it and this is not a natural formation? Geologists and other experts will absolutely deny this, but they're just humans and are prone to errors. Let's take the God's point of view. Let's examine this rock from the sky. On one side, it looks normal, but the truth is revealed when we turn to the other side. What do you think now? We can clearly see a series of perfect cuts on the top of this rock. Now we know that it is a fact that ancient builders were working on this rock. But what were they doing? What could be the purpose of these cuts on the top of the rock? From the ground, it's nearly impossible to see these marks. Even more interesting, it's impossible to climb this rock. It is perfectly smooth and slippery. You have to climb more than 30 feet without holding anything. So, how did ancient builders climb up and make these cuts? And most importantly, what possible purpose could these little holes have served? Tiger Cave site is a very strange place. The purpose of many of the structures is unknown, including the so-called Tiger Cave structure itself. Nobody knows why these structures were built. But if you examine this site carefully, it appears to be a laboratory, a lab, where various rock cutting technologies were tested. How about this rock? You can clearly see that one giant rock has been split into four pieces or actually five pieces. This is not natural. This rock is many feet long and is made of solid granite. This looks like a giant loaf of bread and somebody used a giant knife to cut it into several pieces. But it is actually quite impossible to cut this rock like bread. Why? Because granite is a very, very hard rock. Most people do not understand how hard it is and many people think they can easily cut it or break it. It is one of the hardest rocks in the world and we use diamond tip tools to cut granite. All the rocks in Tiger Caves are made of granite. So, how did ancient builders generally cut rocks? Let me explain the mainstream theory. Here you can see a series of rectangular marks on a rock. What is the purpose of this? What were ancient builders doing with this? Let's take a look at this rock. The work on this must have been done at least 1300 years ago, if not earlier than that. You can see in this block of granite, holes have been drilled in. And in ancient times, wooden wedges would have been put inside and then poured water to split them into two pieces. You can see how the wedges have made a clean split on the rock. It's not perfect, but you can see how it's capable of splitting granite into two pieces. 
I have shown you the first two stages, one where a rock is intact, it's not split, and another rock which is split into two pieces after the wedging process gets complete. But how do the split rocks look after the job is over? This is the third stage. The rocks will typically show the chisel marks and have very rough edges because this is where the holes were cut. You can see this wherever this type of rock cutting was done. But you cannot see this in this bread loaf rock. There are no chisel marks at all, so how did they cut this? Mainstream experts don't have an answer for this, but let me show you some other rocks in Tiger Caves. Look at this one. This is laser cutting technology. Look at the edges. Do you see chisel marks? No, you cannot achieve this kind of smoothness unless you use advanced machining technology. Yet, archaeologists confirm that this cutting was done at least 1,300 years ago. How did they accomplish this? This whole place has several perfectly cut rocks with very smooth surface. Mainstream experts have no explanation for this, but there's something even more bizarre in this site. I call it the twin rock system. In Tiger Cave, there are several twin rocks, two rocks very near to each other with a gap of less than one feet. It is evident that once upon a time, both these pieces were part of the same rock and were then cut using advanced technology. But there are no tool marks on them, except that they appear blackened because of heat. But let me show you the split. What do you think about that? Look at the angles between the rocks. It's a perfect cut with some kind of advanced technology. Look at how the distance between these two rocks has been perfectly maintained all the way to the top. This was done using ancient technology. In the twin rock system, two things baffle me. The first question is, what was the purpose of these twin rocks? I tried to go through the gap and it is too small for human beings to get through them. So what were the ancient builders doing with it? The second question is even more baffling. If it is too small for human beings to get through the gap, how was the material inside removed? This is not just rock cutting. They have not only cut a large piece of granite in the center, but they've also completely removed the center piece and the debris and moved it somewhere else. How was this removal possible from this small gap? One thing is clear. What we hear from archaeologists and historians is not the full picture. Tiger Caves was an ancient lab where various rock cutting techniques were practiced. But to understand the full picture, I need to explore more ancient sites like this. Now, what about this rock? Is it natural or? <laughs> I hope you like this video. I'm Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you soon in a completely different video. Bye.